Hi friends, welcome back to my crafty desk. Sandra here at Blossom and Inspire. I hope everyone is doing well and I just wanna say thank you for taking the time out of your day to spend it with me. I really appreciate it, or your night. We are still working on the four, the family four journal packs and I'm working on elements. Um, I need a one of these little bags. I was gonna steal this, I was gonna steal the guts out of this one and then I realized this is the last one in my stash, so if I want to remember what I'm doing, I better just duplicate. So I grabbed my little card, and I just use index cards. Anyhow, I already have it cut to the size that I like, so let me get that. We've I've done a video on this um, already, but just in case you haven't seen it and you want to know right now, my little cards measure one, two, three, four, and just just over a quarter, four and a, so it's about just about. Oh my gosh, just over four and a quarter lengthwise. And then they are one, two and a half, just, yeah, I think I'm not, I don't have this on here, about two and a half on the width. These little bags, um, I believe I bought them at Walmart. And then I went to search on Amazon and they are much cheaper for a lot more bags on Amazon. And on, I also, on the tutorial, I think it was a tutorial, my, it was a Sandra tutorial, so <laughs> beware. Um, anyways, I, I made some bags also, and I don't know if they were the same video, but you can make these yourself and you can do them out of anything. You can do them out of pa brown paper bag if you have them, if you like that style, um, anything, any kind of paper you want, thin or thick. So let's get moving on these. I do like making them because I like making them really quick. I like making them with different types of papers, but I also love this brown paper. I like to make my own, but I like to have these too. I cut these, I measured and everything to fit this in here. So that's, I mean, there's some room to play, which I don't mind because I like to add things on them, but you can absolutely play with yours. I feel like there's like another quarter inch or so, so that of play inside that bag. So I probably could have taken this out to two, two and um, three quarters. Let's just try one and see. So what I say, two and three, two and two and three quarters. Is that what it was? I think so. I'm, I'm gonna give myself, I'm gonna trust, trust that I could remember something here. Two and three quarters, and then I said it was four. Okay, so I, I would, that's as far as I can trust myself. Now, yeah, it was in the four. So it was like four, and I said it's just a little over a half, so what if it was four? See, that's too big. I like this length, so I do want to stay with that. And I just don't remember. I don't know how to. I don't know how to count the little ticks, the little ticks. So let's go this way, and then we can get a measurement of on the score thing. Okay, so it's. I have this at four. In a quarter plus two ticks, okay? And until somebody tells me how to read these things, I'm just kidding, I don't even know if then if I'd still be able to figure it out. So four and a quarter plus two ticks. Whoops, four and a quarter plus two ticks. There we go, okay. And then, so I'm gonna go ahead and make it wider. I'm gonna go ahead and do my little rounding of my corner. I'll do the rounding. I want to get it an accurate of how I like it before I decorate it with the wider tag. Okay, and then we're going to take this, um, and I think I, I'm going to go with the fattest one, or the widest one. Ooh. Oh, geez, that just flew down my t Oh my gosh, seriously, Sandra? Seriously? Okay, well, <laughs> and then there's that. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Sandra here. <laughs> oh, man. Now let's see about the bag. See, it's just, I mean, if you like a really nice, firm, firm, a tight fit, then that would be great. I think I just kind of wanted that in between. So if this, if we measured that at two and three quarters, maybe if we go just one little tick down, although now I can't see where that tick is. So two and three quarters, right? There we go. And then if I go one tick down, obviously changes everything there again. Maybe I should have waited to do this. I hear you. I hear you. 
but what fun would that be? Okay. So, let's see. Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay, I like that. It's a little bit less play, so we'll do that. And um, I'm going to actually, I'll save both of these. So this is, um, so 2.5 plus 2 clicks. And then length, I have it at 4.25. Plus, <laughs> plus two clicks, I think is what it was. Okay, let's just let's just do that again. So for lengthwise, I want it four. I want it four point two five plus two. So four point two five plus two. No, that's not right. Oh yeah, that's for the length. Okay. So for, oh my gosh, just pull it together. Pull it together. You don't have time for this. All right, two and a half plus two clicks. So two and a half plus two. I know what I'm doing now, I think. I was gonna see if I can get two. I don't think I can. But this one is actually pretty close to that one. I'm still just gonna make a tag with it because why wouldn't I? Like, why would you waste? Like, that's a perfect little tag size. So I just remembered one more goal that I have for before my trip. <laughs> and that is to wrap my craft room up. No, not just to wrap up all the crafting that I'm doing and clean my room because the one thing I will tell you, my most favorite thing about going anywhere, even when it's just to Spokane for a weekend, is to come home to a clean house. Because no matter how relaxing a trip is going to be, I'm exhausted from it. I'm also exhausted from the drive. And then, you know, I have laundry to do, just little things. Um, you know, and then, you know, unpacking. So uh, unpacking is a lot of work. We have groceries to unpack, we have household stuff to unpack, because whenever we go to the city, we have stuff. I figure a trip's not gonna be any different because we're gonna be flying in and out from Spokane. So of course we will have a Costco trip on the way home. So anyways, the last thing I wanna do is clean. I want my house clean, I like walking in it, knowing I can just pack everything in, refrigerator stuff away. If it's too late in the day, I can just um, grab my stuff. I like to get everything to the rooms they belong to, at least, and then the next morning I can unpack. Does that make sense? So I like that. So one of the things I have to do is not just my house, I need to make sure that my um, my room is put together because I want to come down here. I know I'm gonna be Jones in big time for my room and I want to just come down here and be like, oh yes, <laughs> I am home. I have missed you craft room. I have missed my crafting buddies, my friends. I'm, I know I know you get it. I mean, it doesn't have to be spotless. It just has to be picked up. Like I want my desk completely cleaned off, completely um, packed, uh, not packed away, but put away, like your things in their spots. I always have like one or two bins of things that um, need a place to go or they have a place to go, but I just don't have the time to pull that out. So I just put those in there. And then when I have time, I just grab those bins. And if I, or if I have like, days where I'm just like not filling it, putting, making things, then I can do that. I can put, grab those out and start putting stuff away. It never fails when I'm putting stuff away like that, that I come across projects and then my imagination starts going wild and then I will start um, crafting. Sometimes it's mid clean <laughs> and sometimes I make myself wait. It just really depends on how strong the crafting imagination part of it is hitting me does it, I don't know if that makes any sense at all but if it's like hitting me so strong that I'm like I just can't think of anything else and I start getting angry about putting <laughs> like not like psychotically angry but you know I start getting angry about putting stuff away then it's like all right stop <laughs> stuck stick everything that I haven't put away yet back in the bucket basket tub whatever it is and, and get to crafting get to crafting it must happen so and that's what I want when I come home from my trip. I would just, I want to put, and I also like to do, I like to preset myself up for um, success. I, it doesn't always work out this way, but when I clean my room really good and I, I clean my desk off, I grab a couple of projects or a project that I have been wanting to do and I kind of lay it out and I get some of the supplies ready, like just 
it's like a, um, you know, like, you know, like when you set a table for a dinner, like you cook all this food. I'm not a cook, but if you're a cook, you'll get this. I, or maybe you'll get it even if you're not. And you get the whole table all set and it's just beautiful so that when people come in, the, they just want to grab, they gravitate to the table. They're like, oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. I just want to sit here, whether I'm eating or not, because it's just beautiful and inviting. That's what I want my crafty desk to be like. <laughs> I'm like, oh man, it just is calling my name. So today I took the day off. I want to get my, I want to um, get a bunch of stuff done here. And I want, I have a, I go to the gym at 11 and then I, so that's an hour and a half. And then I have to go to the property. I have to go show it to, a, I have a few showings today. I have a little bit of cleaning to do still. Um, my cleaner hopefully is, um, has pulled it together and is able to finish it out that I, so, um, <laughs> You know, everybody has stuff going on in their lives, so there's that. I think, yes. Is this prettier? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to get that stamped with my stamps, and I'll be right back. And I'm going to do this on a few of them and just have it ready. My little little tickets here. The other ones have them, and I think some of them say Make-A-Wish. That's my other one that I really like to put on these, too, is Make-A-Wish. But I'm going to put this boat belongs to. I like that. Come on, inky, inky, ink. Good. Okay, good. So I like this one too. And then in there. All right, now I'm going to, um, I needed to make one more of these. Is that the one I wanted? Yes. So I'm gonna take this one right here and this one right here and I'm gonna put them in this little bag to go back over in my little thing. I'm also going to take, I don't know what I did with it, but there's, I have one here that has writing on it. Here it is. <laughs> I'm going to put this one in here also, I think, as a thing to remember. So I'll put that over there. Take these and put them in there. Then the only, then what I do here is I just simply um, get my, my tear in. So I just do that. And then I think what I, in the past, what I've just kept these pretty simple, but this also you can sew around it. I'm not going to sew around these cards because I want them just to go in easily. I just want it to be simple. I have a little blue book right here. I don't need that on there. I do need this. And I'm going to grab this. Oh my gosh. Okay. Just cannot stand. I just cannot stand the lead. Dang it. But I do, I, I am really liking this glue um, over the, just the softness, I, it's just not hurting my hand. So I guess, what, what do I gotta pick with, between the <laughs> the pain to unscrew or the pain to push the glue stick around? And uh, I like this. And I have to say like it just, so it's soft, like I don't feel like super sticky, like I just got glue all over my fingers with that one. And it's not that bad, but the Scotch Guard, like right now, I'd be like everything I touch would be like coming back with me. So they both have wonderful things that I like about them, and they both have things that I do not love. So there's that. Now I put that in there, and I just want to decorate the outside. This one's gonna go in this book. Then this is the only one that I. This is the only journal that doesn't have its. Um, decorated bag. The other ones I had enough in my stash that I felt looked good enough with it. So I decided, yeah, yes, I have not put that together yet, <laughs> but I decided that I'm going to use some of these fabrics and these laces to, so that when it opens up, it'll be there. And then I also want to um, do this a little bit, maybe the same, kind of pull it together in the back, on the back end of it. Yeah, I like that a lot. I'm going to put this over here. And I'm going to take this like that. This is inked, so that's good. Well and good. Here's some fabric. I know I have a piece of this somewhere that I cut. I can't remember. I might have given it away. Maybe that's why I can't find it. Oh, hold on. I just seen it out of the corner of my back. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to cut more scraps because I, I love this. This is all I have of this golden fabric. So I don't want to just keep cutting it up in little scraps in case, you know, I want to share more. And I have a pretty big scrap right here. So I'm going to use that. And oh, and see, and there's another big scrap. See, that's what happens is, and then I'm like, oh man. So I have some scraps here and I also have some of this here which I like so I'm gonna take that out which I like I mean I like it all 
this one right here is some curtain, but it's that really like, it's got texture and it's see-through, so I do like that. Let's get some of this out. I can put this ruler away. Give me some space in this pen. I don't need that out. Okay, and you can go away too. Lordy. Sue, my gosh. Oh. So I'm just gonna messy cut a couple of, this a piece off of here just to have. Um, and I might need more of that. I'll set it inside that basket. That was, so that's jagged. I don't want jagged like that. I just want, um, the, I'm still getting used to a new, you know, scissors, it's like a car, you know, every car has brakes and a gas pedal, a brake pedal and a gas pedal, but they're all just a little bit different. So I feel like that's what the scissors are kind of like. So they all cut. We just gotta learn how to, where they like to be used out there. That's better. Um, so let's see what we have to work here. This is a smaller piece. I think I'm gonna use this one. And so, looks like I used my um, pinking shears a little bit on this. Like I'm doing a cut pull, cut tear, cut and tear. So there's that. Um, I have another piece here. I have these little pieces that are. Okay, there we go. All right, all right. Maybe that's not long enough. I might need a piece that I want longer. I don't know yet. I'm going to grab one just in case because if I don't, I'm just going to hem and haw with that until I figure it out. So I'd rather just be more prepared. Oh, my hands are not. This is, so this is what happens too. So I'm having to do some cleaning, but at the places, at the places, at the... Okay, I'm not going to worry too much about that one. That tattered because I can cover some of that up. I like it. Okay, now let's get some of this on there. Is they're not hurting, they're just not working. It is the most frustrating thing <laughs> I think ever. Well, one of the most frustrating. I guess there's lots of frustrating things in life. But I guess that's a key word. It's life. And I'm still alive and I'm still enjoying it. So I better just I better just settle down. Just be happy. I am happy. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm rambling. Okay, let's see. There's that. Okay, so let's cut this one off. I like that one for there. Okay, and then... I mean, I don't have to use this much of it, right? I can do, I think I like that higher end, so. Okay. Just there, we have that little strip there. That's good and good. I, I don't really care which way this goes, but I do like that. Um, so I just need, and then I need to get an image on there. So this one needs to be I need an image, an image, an image. So I did find some images um, that I had tucked away and forgot about <laughs> on one of my cleaning things. Um, this book right here has a lot of these fall colors, but I also wanna keep in mind that I've used her on the front. Oops, I've got her on the front. And I think I have a cute little guy in the back um, in that pullout one, right? Let's see. He is in a pocket. What, if I was, okay, where'd you go, little guy? Let's, I know he's in here somewhere. I'm pretty sure, I, I'm pretty sure I glued it in. It was the, um, oh, the altered envelope that I did, um, collaging, right here. 
and he's still really cute. And he's got the golds, and he's, so there he is. There she is. They're not identical. I don't care. Do you care? I don't care. I really don't care. I, but I don't want to put like something that's completely different. These are cute little postcards, but it would be sideways if I did it. And I, I don't want it to be sideways. Um, these are all from DigiKids that I've purchased in the past. Let's see. I mean, I guess it could be sideways. It's pretty big. Um, like she's pulling the flowers and there's some flowers. I kind of like that. Kind of like that. Um, this postcard was ripped in half. I mean, that, that would be an option. Let me try that. Yeah, okay, I like that. So, let me see. Do I tear down this side too or just that? Let me just do one side and see how I like it. Because honestly, I can put a little bit more lace on there. So I like this. She's got the flowers. It's windy, it's a storm. Here they are, she's gonna get them sent off. <laughs> just kidding, <laughs> I'm not a storyteller. Um, there we have that, and then I guess he got caught in the storm sea, his feet are full of water. There we go. I'm a storyteller for a second. Um, I think I'm gonna put an image on this one also, because I do like that. So I guess we're not done with these guys. Let's see if I want anything else from here. I think these are all just postcards and I resized them I think is what happened and, and I got I didn't know I don't know how to work my printer and I think I think I resized these and I was like oh my gosh or did I maybe I didn't maybe they, it was another page I have no idea it was probably another page I don't think I did that never mind don't listen to me oh these are you know what are they like more like on a chipboard, but they're like thin. So it's like shiny, heavy duty cardstock. So these are cute. Do any of these go? I mean, maybe, I feel like there's those flowers again. That's cute. Um, there's another flower one. Like I could do that on another one. I'm just trying to think like, okay, I have that one. I have that one. And I have this one, so maybe I'll do that. And I already have three picked out for the next ones. Perfect. And maybe I'll do one extra for myself. Okay, there we go. Okay, now I only have two of those pieces left. Yay. Um, I've had them forever, that's why I'm saying yay. And then these ones I think are like the blues and the um, lavenders, purples. And I think some of these are on those other ones, but that's okay, I'm gonna go with those. Cause the other ones already are, de they are already decorated. Um, and then I have these, which I don't know if these tags are, they're too short on there. Yeah, I don't want them going all the way down. Okay, but I'm going to use these. I found them. I forgot that I had them. So this is going to come over here. I have a project. I have a couple of projects over here to the side that I'm just saving to do because I cannot, um, I'm unable to do everything at one time. So there we go. We have these. Okay, these images these images. Here's some more of those like little pieces, like those little guys, things like that. And here's some other stuff. I'm going to stick all of that over there and then we'll get over here. Let's, let's get this on. Oh, I wasn't done with this. I have some more laces that I was tearing apart, um, on the cover. So I kind of thought that I think I, that one was supposed, to, was supposed to go there and I dropped it on the floor. Oh, I have another piece. I'll have another piece. I think I was doing this one over here. Yeah, there we go. And then this one can go like right here. Okay, like it. What do you think? Yay, yay or nay? I'm gonna put it down. Okay, and just get it dropped down. Doesn't And it doesn't matter if it goes over because um, it's gonna be like on the outside of that page. It only matters to me like if I'm gonna use it to like tuck underneath and I wanna make sure there's room. So I should probably grab one of those little things out of these bags so we can see what we're playing with, how I decorated the other ones. Just, not that it, I mean, I don't know if it matters too much, but it would help my eyes to see what's going on. And I don't think I finished the insides of those cards. Oh, see this one I did on the outside. Huh, interesting. Um, let's see. And then the inside I did the image. I haven't put it down yet, but I kind of like, um, I put that one down. 
But see, that would be on the outside. I wonder if I should switch it. What do you think? Did you say just do a different one? Okay, I will. I will do that. But I'm going to switch this, I think, out and put them on the outside because I, I do like that better. I think I was just practicing to see what I like better. But I like the image on the outside. Okay, now that I know that. Oh my gosh. Mad mess again. Let's get going. I want that there. Yep. I'm just gonna drop glue down. I'm gonna go back in. I'm gonna just get this down and then I can go back in and see where I wanna put more. I did all that work there and I'm gonna cover it right up. That's okay, that's what ha that's what happens, right? I should go that way, that way. I don't know which way I want this, to be perfectly honest. I think, do I want it that way? That way. I've got glue everywhere now. Um, let's see. Yeah, I want to do it that way. Okay. I feel like this is gonna tie in that tag a little bit on the back, maybe. I don't know if it, today, this is what I'm feeling. <laughs> this piece right here, and then this piece right here, maybe like this way, right to like that, and then like that. It doesn't have to be a lot, just a little bit. Okay, I do like that. Um, yeah, maybe I will put this on first. Blue goobers, I don't want those on there. There we go, I like that. And then I'm gonna get this down because this has to go right here for sure. I'm sucking in a lot of glue, do you hear that? I mean, a lot of glue, I'm sucking in a lot of air. That's gonna make my glue thicker, isn't it? So, I already know from past experiences, by t even with this on there, putting it upside down, the glue still seeps out. This glue seeps out of this thing. And then it made a mess. And that's what happened to me last time. So that's why, and my bottle was much bigger, so I lost a lot of glue and it was hard to squeeze. But when you, and it's still easier than any other glue bottle so far, but I was wondering, when it gets to that point, do you just set it sideways so that it doesn't seep out? And that is that how you keep it? Or does it still seep out? How do you do it? What what are the what, what have you found? I know there's a lot of people on here that use these and um, through trial and error or watching somebody else, I'm sure, has this down. And um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that for a minute to see how that works out for me. And I'm gonna get this on here like this. All right. I'm, what I'm trying to do is like less air in my bottle when I'm squeezing. See, like, see how that just came out so nice, and it wasn't leaking out. It's, but it was only there for like a few seconds, so I don't know. I'm gonna work with it all day like this and see. Since I'm at I, my bottle is halfway down or less than full, I don't know where it's at exactly. I'll tip it up in a second and show you, so we have an accurate. 
thing to go off of. Oh, and I want to see that yellow, so I gotta push. If I'm gonna put more of that stuff on there, this this piece here, then I need to pull that over here. Okay, right there we go. Because so I'm just layering, and but I want everything to be seen. And you can see some of that yellow, and you can see some of that stamp. I like that. So I'm just gonna put a line down here, like so. I know it's gonna go on here. X marks the spot. <laughs> okay. There we have that. Let's see if that works. And, oops, I don't want like a big line showing, so I'm going to see if I just smear that out a little bit. There, just a little, just a little bit like that. And I guess I need to tack that down because look at it, it's like torn right there. Or do I? Huh. Huh, huh. Maybe it wants to come off. Just a little bit. There we go. Just like that. All right. That was took forever, but it is really pretty. I do like it. And then maybe what we'll do here is, oops, it's sticking to my hand. Um, take a piece of this, more of this. Do I need more of this? I don't think so. I'm going to try something, though. Let's just, um, let's just try this. Is it still, is it too fat to even do that with? Would it need to be skinnier, shorter? Who knows? Um, let's just waste this, you know, since it's my favorite stuff. I say that about everything. Everything's my favorite. <laughs> Do you find that to be the case with your stuff too? My gosh, hands work for the love of goodness. My gosh. All right. Is that too flimsy? Is that too much yellow? Like, let's see. Does it even, does it do it any justice? So that's going to be like that. And then I just wanted to put like a little tab. Or do you, I mean, I guess I can do a paper tab, but I don't want to do a paper tab. I want to do fabric or lace. I'm just going to try and stick that in there for a second and see. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Okay, if I do this stapling will just show up like a little tiny staple. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. Where's my stapler? I have one of these little guys here. Let's just, let's just do it and see. See, and then I always staple it wrong, so like it's gonna be like loose. So, what I'm going to do, because I don't want to put two staples, and I don't mind it being over there. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put a dab of glue down to hold that down. There we go. Yeah, hello. Be smarter Be smarter than the project. Just kidding. <laughs> there we go. I like that. And then maybe just to kind of hold that down, it's going to go in and out of that bag, I think. Maybe I'll tack it down there. We'll see. Let's just see what's happening. Yeah, just tack it down. Why not? And see if that works. I mean, I just want it to be cute. It doesn't have to be moving. And I usually like to cover up my staples, but these little tiny ones are so cute. I just don't think I need to. So, oh, so my glue, since I set it up straight, it's um, almost halfway down, but it, there's a significant chunk of it, you know, like this much gone already. And so it does take longer to get down. Not, well, I don't really know if it, how much, how long. It does take longer, but nothing take forever. But my impatient part of me is like, I automatically tip and squeeze. So if I didn't do that, I wouldn't get all that air. But because I do that, I'm going to get more air in there. It's going to thicken my glue up. So I'm thinking I'm just going to play with it like that and see if that helps. Um, not that I always remember to do that either, but I think I have a 
yeah, see, and then it goes in just like that. All right, so now this can go on here. Um, do I want to make it a little tuck spot? I was going to, I think I've done it before on the other ones. I'll do it for the back, I'll leave it open so a piece of paper can go in there. But I think I'm gonna leave this down, yep, I'm just gonna do that. I just feel like even if I don't put a piece of paper in there, if I take it away, I take away the option. Uh, it's a secret pocket that they can find on their own sometimes, or not. But the option's there. And if somebody doesn't like it, it's, I mean, everybody can find glue somewhere. Even Elmer's glue, I mean, like, whatever kind of glue they have. And they can always close that pocket up if they don't like it or if it's but they find it to be more of a hindrance but I have found that when I've been doing this people like these but this isn't one of those things where they're taking it out all the time and filling stuff in it they like this book belongs to they usually put put their name on it um, or the person that they're giving it to and it kind of just stays like that but so let me just pull that out for a second that down yeah I like that and then actually 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 where do those where do those skinny tags go that I had I was like oh I'm gonna set this aside I'm not gonna do this right now do you does anybody know where I put it <laughs> I don't know where I put it oh skinny one that's not the skinny one I had one that was skinny here it is found it so this one I would I could but maybe I'd want it longer I don't know I put that in there like that, and then this one in here like this. At least they would know they have those options. And then that tag goes like that. It's just a double layer. Oh, it's kind of cute. Okay, one with a little topper, one without. Got my little thing there, awesome possum. This also could be, you know, the little tag that we write a little note on. Like, um, I love you so much that I made this journal for you. Or, you're not my favorite person, so I gave you the journal that I messed up on. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just, I'm being facetious. All right, so um, let's see. <laughs> I would never do that. Um, I would, and um, if I really didn't like it, I would not give it, I would just ditch it. All right, or redo it. I would redo it, I wouldn't ditch it. There we go. I, like I need to finish this one though with you because I think this was also a pretty one. Where did all my pieces go? Was that it? Was that it? I had just this piece and I said, I'm gonna take the, cut it up, the cutting up heart. I'm gonna put it that way. So let's just get this down. Oh, try and take a lid off that's not there. Okay, there, and then we'll, after I get this one done, I will have to go probably take my shower and get ready for the day, and that way I can come back to crafting and I don't have to worry about like getting out of here, because that's, I think, where I get, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have, I only have this much time and I have to go take a shower now. <laughs> so if I already have that part done and I'm ready, I'm ready, dressed and got my, my makeup, you know, my, all my, my mascara, because that's all I wear, I can, um, and I put my face creams on, which, you know, my lotions and potions and there we go. There's that. Um, I also wanted, to, I needed another piece, didn't I? I needed another piece. Let me see. Let me put this back in here for a second. Um, I was going to put, this is the one that goes on here, right? But maybe a little something. I mean, that's like really plain. I do have some of this. Oh, I have a pencil floating around over here. Um, I can do some different lace, like stuff that's on the front, bring it to the back. Let's see. Can do, let me just cut a piece of this off like that. Um, I can do, what piece would I like? I think I'm gonna cut this in half. Close that up for a minute and I think I'm actually gonna cut I, I just really want to play with this lace it's so nice and wide I'm gonna cut this piece off here carefully and rough carefully and rough like at the same time so I have these two pieces now this is what I was after. I was after this guy right here. I like it, it's nice and long. I can pull it down to the bottom. Okay, a little bit more texture. Oh, looks like I got a little bit of thread there. 
or Maggie. I'm not really sure to be perfectly honest. Okay, like that. And then I can take another piece of this here. And maybe I'm gonna use the little guys here for a minute. Now that I'm getting like I think I could tear this, but my hands are just, they're not strong today. They're getting stronger, they'll go into the gym, so that's good. That's always good. And then maybe some inking on the edge. Okay, oops, oops. Okay, I like that. It's still, I mean, like, it's not like, I mean, could I could put more on here, but I'm happy with this. I think I like that. I have room for, um, to play later on if I want to add a little bit more I can put something like that on top and just bring that back in there Yep, okay, let's get this down. There we go So that they're all like meeting together like hey, this is a party. We all need to stick together and hang out Okay, okay this I want On top of this so I'll just If that other stuff wasn't so like easily I'm sorry about all the glue on my fingers if that bothers anybody but um, I can. I don't want to take the time to clean it off at the moment. I want to keep moving. <laughs> I apologize. I know that drives some people crazy. And I always say, I always tell myself, I got to choose my battles, pick my battles. But sometimes it's not that easy. <laughs> sometimes my battles are like, nope, I'm choosing you. Today, I choose you. And I'm going to do this right there, just like right in the middle, no big deal. Um, nothing too insanely crazy or wild about this, but I like it. It's, you know, I still think there's there's a lot going on. I feel like there's still a lot going on with all the layers, the lace, the cuteness, you know, the placement, like there's just a lot. And then there's gonna be a tag in there, right? I just want that to stay pretty and shiny. So I need to get my rag wet. Oh my gosh, cat, I just need you here to help me. <laughs> like, why isn't it? It's just like my my trainer. Um, I feel weird calling her my trainer, but that's what she is. She's a, um, um, I've, I have paid her to train me to exercise correctly, safely, and for the best benefit of my body and my age and all that stuff. And I, But I feel like, you know, there's a friendship there too, so I just want to call her my friend. So my friend, <laughs> she's always... She's like, stands, that's what I was talking, oh my gosh, spit it out. So my friend, she's like, don't forget to breathe. <laughs> Pull your navel in. Pull the navel to your back. Don't forget to breathe. So that's like, that's what I was saying to you, Kat, is like, you could be like, is your rag wet? Are you, are you ready? Are you really ready to start crafting? Did you get your stuff? <laughs> Not that you say stuff like that, but I just feel like, I always think of you when I'm like, oh, my rag's not wet. Where's Kat? Why didn't she tell me to get my rag wet? I do have water here. So my cute little tin that I use to keep my rag in, and I really do like it, I will say it's it's um it puts rust on my rag. So I, I, I did, at first I was like, oh, no. But then I thought, oh, well, that's kind of cool. So, But it makes my rag look really disgusting. So see, it's got rust everywhere. <laughs> So I'm like, I'm, ooh, I should put some paper clips in there and some safety pins, and I just start rusting them in my little pot. And there's no vinegar, it's just an old, I'll show you what I'm using. So it's my, my dirty, very dirty water. Oh, and a jump ring. And then this, this cute tin I got at, you guessed it, a yard sale or an estate sale, one of them. I just keep my water in here and I keep my rag. And then that way, if I have to add water to my rag, I can just, not this glue water, I just use my water bottle that I have by me to drink all the time. And then I just pour, I just wet, use some of it in there. That's expensive water to do it, but my water bill is not that cheap either. No, it is actually. So let me see. What the heck? I'm just like talking off the side of my neck right now. I need to settle down. Okay, here we go. 
I like that. Do you like that? I think there's a, a, a lot to say about the simplicity. I'm gonna take this cover off. So, well, I'm gonna hold it on there for a second. So we have the cover, and then when you open it up, you have that little bag, it's got little flowers on there. And then at the very back of the journal, we have the same, we, same sort of setup, and we have back here with the tag, and we have some more flowers. And then, you know, whatever we do back here, if we do anything at all. So what do you think? Oh, I wonder if I have another one of those ovals in my um, stuff. I think I did see that picture, that color. Would that be cute back here? Just as a, like a little pocket, like a little tag? It would be kind of cute, huh? All right, my friends, I'm gonna let you go because I'm like all over the board and I need to do like 50 more projects and then get four journals all done <laughs> and get my craft room cleaned. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me. Have a great day and enjoy all your moments. Bye.